But did either of you see yourselves as entrepreneurs before this? Was, was it a surprise to yourselves? Yeah, I think we, when we met in our class, we noticed quickly that we were both interested in entrepreneurship and innovation as a concept, but I, I had never kind of been close to it. Yeah. Uh, but then we figured there was a huge um, student organization called the START mm -hmm. uh, at the university. It's, a, it's all over Norway at mm -hmm. all of the mm -hmm. universities. There's a, a department of the organization. And we decided to join because it was such a, a good um, social scene and they had a lot of the big and exciting um, projects and uh, events at mm -hmm. the school uh, were uh, arranged by this organization. So we joined yeah. and met and then they were organizing um, a, a business plan competition called Venture Cap which is a, a national yeah. competition, yeah. but it starts on a local stage and then it goes re mm -hmm. regional and then national and then international uh, a few years later. And so we joined, we planned the competition and then we decided oh, we want to join. Yeah. It looks so fun. We want to join the competition, with, uh, but we need an idea. We don't have an idea. And so that's when I told Nina about my grandfather's idea and his story and that was it, it's just in the basement no one's using it why don't we just yeah. try it out and see just for fun just because we need projects outside of our studies wow um, and so we joined the competition and then we won the yeah. local one and we won the regional one and then uh, Bjorn joined mm -hmm. and then we got second place in the national one and then it kind of escalated because when you can tell that kind of stories with the feedback you get from the competitions and all the experience, you can kind of try and navigate and get more public funding and then establish partnerships. And then the, the ball has kind of um, organically just rolled from being students and it's very safe, very safe. And then we got uh, one million from the Research Council of Norway, which the the goal with that money was to for master students to actually be able to start their own company afterwards. Right. Yeah. So that was kind of the 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 funding that made uh, that step possible mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. the safe zone at the university. Uh, so that's how we ended up here. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. But that, 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 I mean that's for me that's fascinating just that it came from from fun, you know, just that it was an interesting thing to do rather than we had to change the world, but yeah, actually yeah. you've been drawn into it. And so, yeah. yeah, we were, so that's a really good model to get people to get into entrepreneurship yeah. without uh, taking the big step, because if someone would say that, mm -hmm. okay, so you have just started mm -hmm. your master's degree, uh, would you rather just uh, start your own business and be an entrepreneur? I think maybe we would have said no, we mm -hmm. don't know. But just uh, getting into the game and uh, yeah. talking with actual customers mm -hmm. and so on and being eager and curious about how everything uh, was. Yeah. Uh, we got really attached to the business and everything mm -hmm. with it and we saw that we did not know anything about innovation and entrepreneurship mm -hmm. but everything can be learned. Mm -hmm. uh, so we took one step at a time because now we have learned a lot, but um, from the start we didn't know anything, but we, um, we had some innovation classes and went to a summer school mm -hmm. and entrepreneurship school in Boston. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we attained some knowledge uh, and therefore mm -hmm. we, we got to learn that we don't have to have all the skills ourselves. Yeah. We can ask people. Mm -hmm. So that has uh, helped us a lot. Uh, so now we have two engineers on our team, yeah. uh, so we were actually able to build a pro uh, the product. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's also been a, a positive thing that we've had the organizational view on things. Uh, because the engineers, and it was the same with my, my grandfather who has the idea, he, it just became his little baby and he was mm. so emotional attached to it that he couldn't actually see beyond the the yeah. magic that was in the bed. Yeah. So I know it was very hard for him to actually get the product on the market and be able to put on the, 
the market and commercial glasses. Yeah. And, and that's our background is in business and organizational uh, development and marketing and administration and so on. Um, so both of we had the organizational and the market. We've always had the market glasses on mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. not the technical attachment. Um, and I also think it's it's good that we've had the little the distance to the, the product because it's it's our product now, but it's not our idea. It's not the. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. not been uh, been pregnant. We, we've yeah. just adopted, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I uh, I think um, a lot of entrepreneurs they they get too attached to mm -hmm. it, and, and we've never been afraid of of sharing the idea and telling people about it and letting people in, uh, mm -hmm. because you get so much more from it than you actually give. And I know my grandfather and a lot of other technical entrepreneurs they're so afraid that their geniusness mm -hmm. um, it can't be shared because then it's so clever that people will steal it, and that's something that we've always heard and mm -hmm. and never kind of felt that that was. Um, something that we were afraid of, so I think it's it's been a um, yeah a good a good start mm -hmm. and a good yeah. place to kind of to come from. Sure. Because fun. most people are interested in helping, not yep. stealing. Yeah. So yeah. we're telling about our mm -hmm. product and uh, business model and everything. Uh, we have gotten more back than what we have given them. So it has yes. been a real. And important thing for us. Yeah.